Hey what's up guys welcome to Linux Techs. In this video we'll be having the first look at Google's new Fuchsia OS which will replace Android in the future. Before we get into it make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest and the greatest happenings of the Linux world. To begin with let me give some highlights of this new OS from Google. It is called Fuchsia OS and Google has been working on it from some time. Actually I had written an article about it on itsforce.com, link is in the description. It won't be using the Linux kernel unlike Android. It will be powered by a micro kernel based on Magenta. Yes it does have a completely revamped look which is card based. It is still in its infancy so it's gonna be a while till Fuchsia OS rolls out to phones and other devices. It does mean the end of Android as we know it. The phrase as we know it is very important here. Android was based on the Linux kernel and made it big. But Fuchsia is based on the Magenta micro kernel. While the kernel in Android could take up to hundreds of MBs, Fuchsia OS kernel will not take more than 10 MB. This is much more efficient and space saving at the same time. This also provides Google with an opportunity to make a true universal OS. Fuchsia could run on mobile devices, TVs, Chromebooks and Google Glasses. All providing a rather similar experience. That combined with Google's powerful cloud computing presence will make Fuchsia OS indomitable. Android is kind of a virtual machine running on top of the Linux kernel. Although the kernel will change, the app environment will remain more or less the same. The things which will change will change for the better. Ok so what I have got running here is the armadillo user interface which I guess will be the default for Fuchsia OS on mobile devices. It's completely card based just like Google now. By sliding down I am invoking a list of cards. These cards will be cards from apps which are installed on the device. Currently these are dummy cards. This means that there will be a higher degree of integration between apps and the operating system itself. I slide up from home to invoke Google search. This is honestly much faster and simpler. Also there will be contextual search predictions. Better than Google assistant? Yes sir. Finally I click on the profile icon and we have quick settings here. Of course these are all dummy placeholders and do not work yet. The whole interface is highly intuitive. Now this UI will work with Google's cloud based AI to provide an experience that will be revolutionary in itself. Share this video and be the first one to let your friends know about Fuchsia OS. This was just a quick video and I'll bring more Fuchsia stuff in the coming days as I'm closely following its development. So make sure to subscribe. This is Linux Tech signing out for the day.